Hey guys, Harry Thomas here, and I'm just uh, keeping uh, the Barbie-related uh, videos uh, coming, uh, and this time with my top five Barbie characters. Uh, my first Barbie top five was, of course, top for five uh, Barbie moments, if you haven't seen that already, and, uh, uh, and of, of course, uh, uh, yeah, Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling are the easiest characters as who are praised in this movie. But uh, let's not forget uh, some of the uh, wonderful supporting cast. Uh, uh, so, uh, yeah, without further ado, if you want to know, my top five favourite characters are from the biggest movie of the year and pinkest, then just keep watching. At number five, a stereotypical Ken. Uh, he is uh, just Ken, and he is uh, certainly Ken up. And uh, yeah, this uh, will forever be Ryan Gosling's uh, goat role. It, it will never be best. And uh, uh, Ken uh, turned out to be a real unlikely villain and uh, a sympathetic character at the same time. Only having a good day if Barbie notices him and uh, and uh, doing uh, everything in his power to make Barbie uh, his girlfriend and convinced he can't exist without her. <laughs> Even with her uh, telling him uh, she doesn't love him a million times, uh, it takes until the conclusion of the movie for him to finally get the message and uh, even when he does go to the real world with Barbie, uh, does uh, he uh, help her find uh, the girl who's playing with her? Does he help her escape Mattel? Not exactly. That's when his character takes a villainous turn, when he sees how much uh, uh, men are more respected in the real world and how much more male-dominated the real world is. Uh, so uh, these masculine thoughts get into his head as he... Uh, after being rejected by every job application in the real world, brings the toxic patriarchy to Barbie land, enslaves uh, the Barbies, uh, wants to change the constitution from Barbie land to Kendom, calls Barbie baby, uh, kicks her out of her own home and, and uh, her outfits, and uh, all because uh, she didn't love him. I get that Ken uh, and... Uh, the other Kens felt suppressed by the Barbies, but by wanting to uh, uh, rule over the Barbies, they are taking it too far. There's no reason they can't have equality to the Barbies. After Ken uh, does what he does to poor Barbie, you want to punch the plastic prick, but then he does uh, get a uh, fitting redemption when uh, Barbie does uh, help him... Uh, realize that uh, he is uh, uh, Ken up uh, and doesn't need her to be happy and uh, he even admits to her he didn't love uh, uh, be being a dick and, uh, and, and running the patriarchy. Uh, Ken is honestly one of the most complexly written characters I have seen in a movie uh, this uh, year and who could forget uh, just like Barbie Ken also has a uh, a badass wardrobe of outfits uh, from his I Am Ken Up uh, hoodie uh, to his uh, uh, Rocky Sylvester Stallone uh, fur coat, making him look like a boss. At number four, Weird Barbie, the Rafiki of Barbie Land in a nutshell. I mean, Kate McKinnon, uh, moi, uh, love you girl. She is a uh, by Far the show stealer of the uh, supporting Barbies in Barbie Land, uh, uh, kind being a, an outcast uh, like a stereotypical Barbie is herself after she goes through her existential crisis. But it's weird Barbie that essentially kickstarts and ignites uh, the plot of the movie. I mean, without her, Barbie never would have. Uh, uh, seen the real world, never would have met uh, Gloria and Sasha, and never would have known what it's like uh, to be human. So stereotypical Barbie, uh, if anything, has weird Barbie uh, to uh, thank for giving her the chance to have a human life. And uh, even when Barbie does return to a uh, 
Barbie land that's becoming Kend, and Weird Barbie is the one to rescue her in her truck, and, uh, and her map of Barbie land helps uh, the Barbies uh, to devise their plan to stop the Kens, and Madam President even, uh, uh, gives her an apology for calling her weird Barbie behind her back and to her face and even offering her a place uh, in uh, the Barbie pink house. So by the end of the movie not only is there no more bigotry to uh, the Kens uh, but or Barbies but no more bigotry or judging of weird Barbie. Not to mention her house is the uh, most extravagantly designed a set in the entire movie, uh, shaped uh, like uh, a uh, zigzag, and, and uh, her dog uh, is uh, the uh, most adorable uh, thing uh, to live in Barbie land. Uh, she may have uh, only has uh, five scenes in the entire movie, and uh, does and doesn't uh, get uh, all the screen time, uh, yet uh, everybody uh, still uh, adored her. At number three, Sasha. Sasha is hands down the most underrated Barbie character. I mean, how have none of the reviews given uh, uh, Sasha or Ariana Greenblatt uh, the credit that she truly deserves? Ariana Greenblatt uh, is a rising star right now, from younger Mora to even younger Soka, and, uh, and she now gets to star in, well, uh, two movies that have surpassed a uh, billion dollars. Uh, she is uh, the Macaulay Corkin of her generation in terms of, of, of well-paid child actors, and, uh, and as uh, Sasha, uh, she uh, uh, does a stupendous job of playing this uh, tough acting uh, teen who's uh, suppressing her emotions and uh, and as uh, going through a phase uh, where she's uh, acting like she hates all things Barbie, wants nothing to do with Barbie anymore, and isn't so close with her mum anymore just because her mum is still the biggest fan of Barbie and uh, has renounced her Barbie playing days, uh, and when Barbie meets her at her school with her friends who represent the Bratz dolls, uh, she uh, calls uh, the poor blonde a fascist and uh, makes uh, B Barbie uh, cry and crushes Barbie emotionally, uh, making Barbie realise not uh, all her girls are in uh, the, the real world uh, do uh, like her after all, but, uh, but uh, once uh, Barbie uh, is uh, rescued uh, from uh, Mattel and Barbie takes uh, Sasha and her mother to Barbie land, that's when Sasha's character changes for the better. When she stops uh, acting uh, like a brass and uh, starts uh, to uh, see uh, that uh, her, th that her mum uh, is uh, amazing and uh, that uh, Barbie is amazing. Heck, uh, if, uh, had it not uh, been for her uh, uh, telling her mum to go back and uh, rescue Barbie and to not give up on her, then maybe Gloria would have gone back to the real world and uh, Barbie and, K and Barbie Lander would be doomed to forever be Kendom. And she grows to love Barbie as family and thankful that Barbie brought joy into her and her mother's life again, even yelling, hell yeah, white saviour Barbie. And uh, once uh, Barbie uh, takes the name Barbara and lives with uh, Sasha and Gloria in the real world, uh, Sasha sees Barbie as a big sister. So in the sequel, uh, uh, we can certainly get hyped to see more Barbie and Sasha sister scenes are together. Sasha uh, even uh, encourages uh, her mama to uh, just uh, be honest uh, with the CEO of Mattel about her idea for Ordinary Barbie and in insists uh, that uh, Barbie being in love with Ken is not Barbie's ending. At number two, uh, Gloria, played uh, by the glorious and uh, gorgeous America Ferreira. And uh, I'm, I'm so thankful America is getting far more work after the House of Train Your Dragon trilogy. Just like uh, she played uh, my favourite House of Train Your Dragon character, she plays uh, now one of the best Barbie characters. And, and uh, Gloria is really the uh, best human Barbie ever met. Barbie uh, becomes uh, 
Gloria's second daughter, and Gloria uh, is uh, highly imaginative uh, with uh, her irrepressible thoughts of deaf Barbie and full body cellulite Barbie drawings at Mattel. She may be a lower ranking member at uh, Mattel, but so she deserves to be the CEO with her uh, ideas, and uh, uh, it, it, and you can see why Barbie picks her to live with Gloria over Ken, because Gloria's the one that uh, that saved Barbie from uh, Mattel. I mean, uh, Ken uh, just uh, fucked off her back uh, to Barbie land, and uh, poor Gloria has been feeling. Uh, a little neglected by her daughter and uh, miss the days when her and her daughter, well, would uh, yeah, yeah, bond over Barbie. So uh, Barbie coming to the real world uh, uh, for uh, her uh, is uh, a uh, literal miracle and and her speech, of course, uh, snaps uh, all Barbies, including stereotypical Barbie, out of uh, their uh, brainwashed uh, uh, states. She's also extremely friendly and motherly uh, to uh, the other Barbies and even Alan uh, when, when she meets them. If all humans were like Gloria in the real world, then the real world would be perfect. Uh, and Gloria would be my number one uh, Barbie character, if not for one that just uh, slightly exceeds her. My number one uh, favourite uh, Barbie character is uh, the titular character, stereotypical Barbie, uh, played uh, by uh, the uh, super duper awesome Margot Robbie, my favourite actress of all time. I mean, uh, it wouldn't be a top five Barbie characters list without uh, uh, both stereotypical Barbie and Ken on here, and uh, uh, I mean, I totally get it if you're more of a, a Ryan Gosling Ken fan, but uh, but I personally gravitate more with Margot Robbie's Barbie, and uh, uh, yeah, uh, Greta Gerwig, uh, uh, she uh, has an, an actor for uh, writing uh, uh, female leads uh, perfectly. The best uh, movie characters are the ones that truly change and go on a journey. They are the ones that are not the same at the end as they were at the beginning, to which Margot Robbie's stereotypical Barbie is no exception. <laughs> she uh, goes uh, from uh, being a, a doll uh, uh, existing in a perfect world uh, to one whisked off to uh, the real world, which uh, sucks in comparison, but she's subjected to men uh, sexually harassing her and uh, and uh, girls uh, hating on her. She still finds beauty and joy and a reason to stay in the real world, especially in that uh, moment uh, without dialogue where she's uh, just taking the real world in seeing uh, people around her laugh and cry and uh, hearing uh, the birds uh, chirp away and uh, experiencing other emotions other than happiness so she uh, knows what sadness feels like uh, for the first time as we humans do um, and Margot Robbie, I mean, uh, she uh, totally nailed every single crying moment down uh, to, to a T and uh, even uh, when uh, she uh, is convinced uh, she's uh, fixed uh, her problem when she's found Gloria and Sasha and brings them back to Barbie land, only to find Ken has ruined everything as uh, she uh, just uh, breaks down and uh, gets upset with Gloria for uh, uh, wishing her to her world or with her complicated thoughts. Uh, can you blame her for a... Uh, 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 being uh, this low. If if somebody had just uh, taken your home and uh, your friends and uh, and your and you uh, and you realised your life was never going to be the same again, who wouldn't have an emotional breakdown in that moment? So, uh, uh, but uh, she does uh, 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 perk herself up and uh, does uh, help her. Uh, uh, bring gender equality to Barbie land and make Gloria and Sasha uh, love one another again and uh, uh, made 
and is capable of making her own decisions uh, as a human now, even uh, uh, taking the first step and uh, get plucking up the courage to get her vagina at the gynecologist, uh, because of course dolls don't have genitals. Oh, and if you wanted to make the point about uh, uh, Barbie and not being pretty anymore. Uh, Helen Mirren's narrator was correct. Margot Robbie's the wrong person to cast if you want is, uh, to make that point because she's absolutely stunning. She is also one of the kindest uh, movie protagonists that uh, you will ever see in your entire life period. She's so sweet, so uh, butter wouldn't melt in her mouth. So I am now going as far as calling her my all-time favourite movie a protagonist, and I'm proud to, to uh, call uh, stereotypical Barbie the best Barbie character. So that was my uh, top five uh, Barbie characters, and uh, I mean, you uh, can uh, 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 certainly tell that so uh, they are going to uh, dominate uh, the uh, best actor, actress, best supporting actor and actress at the Harry Awards uh, uh, in 2024. Uh, well, I love you guys, thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this list, and who are your top five favourite Barbie characters? Please comment and let me know, please like this video and subscribe, please follow you on Twitter and on Instagram, and I'll see you next time when I have my review of Scooby-Doo and the Alien Invaders. Uh, uh, for you all, and remember, movies are us. Bye, guys.